Good morning, YouTube family. Martina, come to home here. Um, today, guys, uh, sorry about the camera, but my little stand, it keeps breaking off. So, the way I have it on my vehicle, so I can't really um, film with, uh, with my phone facing me in any kind of way. Um, so, obviously, what's going on uh, right now, the main thing to talk about right now, is uh, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, not so much because, you know, it directly uh, is affecting, will affect us, but um, already you're seeing uh, oil prices go up. Uh, the stock market went down, which honestly, I don't really pay much attention to the stock market. Uh, but I do pay attention to the treasury bonds, the US, especially the 10 year, uh, the 10 year treasury bond, and that already went up. The yield already went up, so people are uh, getting spooked and they're leaving the stock market and going into uh, oil and going into the, the bonds. Uh, I haven't checked cryptocurrencies yet. Uh, last night they were around 38,000. Uh, talking about Bitcoin. So, uh, by the way, right now it's a Thursday, February the 24th, 2022. Um, it's been probably about a week that I haven't done a, put out a video. Uh, I've just been keeping my, uh, my eyes open and looking around me and just having situational awareness of, of uh, everything going on. Uh, one thing that did concern me, yesterday I went to the, to the local grocery store and uh, a lot of items obviously have gone up. The prices have gone up. Uh, but usually what I buy, I keep an eye on, on, on certain things, certain items. Uh, just to gauge how how bad things really are. And uh, last night, one one of the things that I buy, I like to buy in particular is uh, chunky soups. Um, I put away a lot of white rice, and I continue to put away a lot of white rice. And but you just can't eat white rice, so I like to buy things that are. Are good to eat with white rice, like such as uh, beef stew and uh, those chunky soups. Uh, the red can, I think y'all might have seen them. Uh, so these red, these chunky soups are have been for the past two years. They've been at 178, uh, pretty consistent. Uh, yesterday I went and uh, they were up to 198. So they went up 20 cents. Uh, I can't do the how much a percentage wise that is uh, off the top of my head. It's 20 cents, uh, so maybe what like eight eight percent or something like that, maybe uh, ballpark, right? Nine percent. So, and another thing I noticed, guys, was. And this is the first time I, I saw this anywhere. Now, I've seen cereal short, right? I've seen I've seen uh, the cereals kind of like uh, stopped low, right? The variety. Uh, but yesterday, all I saw were the, like the sweet cereals, the pretty much, you know, the... <laughs> The, the the fun cereal what I like to call but even of that was very little the shelves was had to be more than half empty uh, the the grain cereals the the granola cereals you know the, the cereals that are more you know air quotes healthy uh, they were like basically gone even the section where they have bags um, you know the the generic they come in these bags those were like entirely gone. There was none, not not a single bag. Now that's just one grocery store, but I mean, 
that was uh, an eye opener for me. So, with everything going on, guys, I've had a lot of, I've been, you know, a lot of things have been going through my mind, especially because uh, it, it almost seemed like things have been kind of like at a standstill. Of course, we're, we're keeping our eye on Canada. And uh, by the way, last night, if I'm not mistaken, Trudeau uh, revoked the emergency. Uh, I guess he, they called it the Emergency Powers Act or, or whatever, whatever uh, authorization he gave himself to stomp, stomp on the people. He, he revoked that and, you know, he made a show of, uh, which is good. I'm not, you know, uh, that, you know, the time, you know, that he was going to put a time limit. They put a time limit, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but these politicians talk out of both sides of their mouth, guys. So I don't, I don't, I don't believe a word they say. But anyway, um, I've been thinking a lot about what do I need to prepare for? What do I, what do I need to look at? Um, to, to prepare better, because it seems like we're, a, it's almost like a low. A, a calm before the storm and I'm looking at a gas uh, a local gas station right now guys uh, yesterday the gas was 2.99 it already went up overnight 10 cents I mean I literally passed by here yesterday and it was 2.99 um, so uh, another thing that we need to talk about uh, there's so much to talk about but uh, is to keep our our fuel our cars fueled up as much as possible uh, and if possible to have a uh, backup gas uh, here in San Antonio guys with everything going on with the, with the Ukraine and uh, Russia uh, the US military or you know that we have interest there at least the Bidens do uh, uh, there's a lot of politicians here in America uh, that have interest there in the Ukraine uh, basically the Ukraine guys is just the vassal state of the of the politicians here, and so they they supposedly they they were supposed to uh, back up the Ukraine uh, if anything happens. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. If they're going to step up and and uh, you know back up the Ukraine, or are they going to just do what they did to Afghanistan? Even though even though we have no business over there. I'm just saying the, the commitments uh, have been promised. Um, so let's see. We'll see if we're going to be dragged into this war um, with the Russians and their allies, as well as their proxies. Uh, they have they have proxies just like we do. They have mercenaries. They have uh, you know other. They have their own allies um, doing their fighting their battles and stuff. So, so my point is, is that here in the, in the United States, I mean, I'm sorry, here in, in my city, uh, one of the things that's bad is that we have five military bases. Um, actually, I believe two of these bases have already been, I won't say decommissioned, but they're, they're military and uh, private. So Kelly Air Force Base was turned into Joint Base San Antonio, I'm sorry, Port San Antonio, and it's basically uh, it's basically an economic free zone. You got all these corporations uh, doing business here, uh, and uh, if you're into the into the legal fallacy of the straw man and the terms that they use with naval terms and all that, uh, Port San Antonio, the name Port San Antonio should should catch your attention. Um, that's another, that's another topic for another video, uh, using maritime, uh, terminology. Why would they do that? Anyway, before I get off tangent here, uh, we have all these bases here and if some, for some reason, or if, if, if what's going on in the Ukraine kicks off World War III, um, I'm expecting my city to 
be targeted right away. At least during the Cold War in the 80s. Even though I was a young kid, I always knew that we were going to be a target because of all the Air Force bases here. We have Kelly, which is a joint base, or actually went totally private. Uh, we have Brooks, uh, which is military and civilian. We have uh, Lackland Air Force Base, which is still, you know, still considered a base. Then we have uh, uh, Randolph Air Force Base. And then we have Fort Sam Houston, which is a pretty big base. Uh, these, these military installations, guys, take up a big chunk of our city. If you ever look it up on a map, look up San Antonio. Um, in this city, we've already gotten used to it. I mean, it's no big deal, but... We have to, we can't really go from point A to point B on a regular road like in other cities. I mean, we got we got to go around, around these humongous Air Force bases and stuff, military installations. Uh, like I said, we've gotten used to it. This is, this is, it is what it is. So, but when you think about it, our commutes are a little bit longer because we got to basically go around uh, these places. Uh, there's less... And they're so bottlenecks are created. So sometimes the traffic does get bad. So if something were to kick off, guys, uh, bug out bags will become very important here. Uh, I don't. I I do have a bug out bag in my car. My wife has one in her car. Um, in case in case we are at work or something and something kicks off, uh, it's basically a bug bug home bag, you know what I'm saying, to get us home, uh, stuff like that, but our, our home is our bug out location, so we, we, that's why we moved out from the city out into the, into the country, so, of, of course, we've been talking a lot about the, the rise in prices and food and, uh, energy, our utilities, But uh, I'm now starting to see, well, I've been seeing it. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, I've never seen food go up so fast, um, you know, in such a short time. Um, of course, the food has always gone up, you know, gradually, you know, just really, you don't even notice it. Uh, it, would, it used to go up so slowly, but, you know. But it would be very slow, steady but slow. Now we're seeing prices go up. I mean, it could be from one day to the next uh, going up. Uh, it's just faster. Also, guys, the, the, the ingredients that they are putting in foods now, if you eat processed foods or you eat anything that's already pre-cooked or pre-packaged, the ingredients that they are using are inferior. Um, that's another way that they hide, they, they try to make up for inflation is by using inferior ingredients, um, ingredients that are, you know, not just not healthy, but harmful. And this is my opinion because uh, some of the foods that are processed, I've tasted them and they taste very different. You can tell. Uh, they're not as, they've skimped on, it's also, packages are smaller, um, the quality of the product is, is inferior, guys, you got, you use inferior, uh, ingredients, you're gonna get an inferior product, so that's what I'm seeing, um, so stock up, guys, uh, I've always said, and I'm, I'm guilty of this, you know, things go, get kind of, things kind of go calm for a while and I and I I prepare just steady um, there's not really a, a, what I call a the Alaska prepper calls them uh, payday preps um, some people prep like at the end of the month or at the beginning whatever um, I just anytime I set foot in a grocery store um, I pick something up even though that, even though it's not what I went for, I went. I might have gone for just to get a couple of things, but nine times out of ten, 
I'll pick up an extra five or six cans, maybe more, just depending. Uh, but that's the way I've been doing it, guys. Very slow, and and now, you know, it's I'm, I'm thinking I should have gotten a little more, but. Whenever you're prepping, guys, uh, whenever you're trying to prepare or try to be responsible, uh, you, you're never, you don't ever feel like you're totally prepared. Uh, even though you're, you know, I'm, I look back, I sit back and I look at what I have and what I've prepared for and it's not bad. It's, I have a, you know, uh, it's not bad. It, it's, I've done a good job, but again, you never feel like you're there you're at that point where okay I can I can relax and you know no we're constantly rotating out our food our pantry you know how that goes um, our vehicles I want our vehicles maintained just so many things to, to, to be looking at but we're in it now guys um, you know this this uh this reset that's been talked about, everything going on right now in the world that you're seeing, all the chaos and the turmoil and the upheaval, this is my opinion, but it's all connected to this reset. Um, before I forget, guys, I want to mention also that in my, in my, another sign I've always looked at, you know, when crime goes up, uh, Especially just random crimes, right? Uh, people shooting each other or robbing each other. Um, those are signs to me of societal breakdown and collapse. And uh, in my neighborhood, which is, I live in a rural neighborhood. We had, in the past week, we had a lot of fires. Like, for fires, like, just all over our, all over our, rural, our rural community. Uh, there was a big one last weekend. Actually, two big fires where they had to redirect traffic on one of them. And then another one, uh, the people that live on that land got trapped in there. Um, it was pretty big. Um, but it was it was just strange to me to see so many random fires uh, pop up in one, in one area. Uh, there was even one like a block away from my house. Uh, this corner... Uh, in the community I live in, it's it still hasn't been built on. So it's like a maybe like three acres, two or three acres of just wooded area, and it caught fire. Um, just very strange. And I, I, I'm, you know me, I have a very suspicious mind. And and uh, of course, arson. They did catch a guy that caught that uh, had started that big fire. Um, I think that one took out a lot of, like, about over 100 acres. Uh, but they caught that guy. So these other fires popped off after they had caught him. So, you know, I was thinking they're being set on purpose, but it doesn't have to be necessarily an arson. Um, it could be developers uh, trying to get the land. Who knows? Uh, I'm just, I don't trust anything I see right now, guys. It's just everything... Um, there's always an ulterior motive, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, uh, it's really good talking to y'all. It, it, I had been wanting to shoot a video uh, for a while. It just trying to keep up with everything. And guys, the content creators, man, they got some good stuff on right now. Uh, Prepper Now, uh, he has two channels, Prepper Now and Preparedness Now. Uh, has been keeping up with what's going on in the Ukraine and as well as the health crisis that that it's still going on in the background guys um, Bear Independent guys had a, a video one of his best um, Y'all got to check these guys out Bear Independent uh, Pepper now preparedness now Carol Clark uh, never lose truth. She's been on it. She's been on on developments uh, like she always is there's a lot of content creators out there guys that are that's another reason too a lot of the work a lot of the stuff uh, they just can say it better than I can but um, 
just trying to reach my audience, uh, my subs. Um, Alaska Prepper thinks very much the way I do. Uh, we have very similar outlooks and we see the world and almost the same way. He just articul articulates it way better than I do, um, way better. But he, he, what he talks about is the way I see things, uh, is what I've learned um, about how the financial system works and um, the way they're tied into events uh, that are going on right now. Agenda 2030, um, the reset, all these things are all connected, they're all related. But anyway, guys, uh, it's good talking to y'all. I'll keep you uh, in the loop. Um, things are, like, really escalating. And so I'll be putting out more videos. Um, I'll leave relevant links in the description. I'll try to see what I can put down. Um, Fair Independent, Alaska Prepper. They all came out with really good videos. In case y'all haven't seen them, I'll put links down there. So y'all can check them out and maybe subscribe to them. Uh, they're putting out like really good work and those a lot of a lot of those sites are where i get my news uh, you know what i'm saying so anyway guys y'all take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for god bless